start pulling on that, especially if you pull it up with both hands, we're gonna create all kinds of problems. Because when I pull it up with both hands, that thing's gonna fold just like that. Now look what it's doing to the tongue. That gray area is the tongue, okay? That's the tongue right there. That doesn't look very comfortable, does it? Okay? And it's nutcrackering like this on the bars. So what it's doing is it's folding like this. Can I get a little head apart? Stay. So will you hold that for a second? You, no, you're fine. Just hold it in. There, just, there you go. Mm -hmm. So here's your snaffle bit. You pull with both hands, it's gonna do this just like a nutcracker on the bars, okay? And it's gonna smash that tongue. We're gonna look some more at this here in a minute. Um, so, and this, by the way, uh, people say, well, I don't get that. I don't have that smashing of the tongue because I ride a French link, three piece. That is a French link. That is a three piece snuffle, okay? Um, so just, it's just about being aware of what's going on in the horse's mouth. Now you can see him parting his teeth. He's trying to get away from that. Um, well, this horse can't get away from that. See the buckle? His mouth is tied shut. So now we have the crushing of the tongue, the nutcracker of the bars, and right here is pushing up the palate. Okay? Depending on the conformation of your mouth, or your horse, not your mouth, your mouth doesn't matter, your horse's mouth though, um, this can happen. I looked at one last weekend. And this was pushing into the pallet while the horse was just standing there with nobody on him, with just the snaffle bit hanging in his mouth. That was already stuck up in the pallet, in the grooves of the pallet, just standing there because he had a low pallet and a big fat tongue, and it made that bit go all the way right up into that, into that pallet without ever even riding him. So now when you try to do anything, if that bit moves, it's gonna be ramming into those ridges in the roof of the mouth and all kinds of stuff. So let's go. Um, now some people with the with the regular shank bits, they want tongue relief because they say the horse works better. Except the only reason it works quote better is because it creates more pain on the bars because the horse cannot use his tongue to lift the bit off of the bars of his mouth. Keep in mind that better is relative. Okay, the horse works, I get a response, but is the response sustainable? There's a big difference between getting a response and getting a sustainable response, okay? For me, um, it doesn't matter if I get instant results. What matters is that I can maintain long-term results, okay? This kind of bit, you're not gonna keep more soft in it because there's no way for him to protect his own mouth, okay? And then if we have too much tongue relief, we get stuff like that, yeah? Tongue goes all the way up into that bit. That's, that's a modern correction bit. Almost every Western sport trainer has a whole wall full of them. But most people don't know what it's actually doing. When we pull on that, it's really easy for the tongue, depending on the conformation of the tongue, to go up into that port, okay? Um, and then, then it's ramming the bars and all kinds of stuff. push very hard and run your finger across this. That is really sharp. So what happens when your bit puts pressure there? Yeah. Come look at these skulls and you're going to find this one's got a pretty sharp edge right up here. Okay. This one, a little bit less, but there's still a little edge. That one, I ain't, I'm not going to push very hard on that. Okay. Um, the other thing is a lot of people don't realize that it's very common to have the left and the right difference. This horse is very sharp on the left, not so sharp on the right. So when you pick up on that bit, it's not an even signal in the horse's mouth, okay? This is why the signal bit, like this one, is um, in many ways, for a horse like this, could be much more effective because you're not using pressure on the bars as your communication because you're not going to get an even signal. It's going to hurt over here and be perfectly comfortable over here, okay? So even the style of bit that you choose can make a huge difference in what kind of response you get and how good your horse is in the bit. Some horses, that ridge is way, is way on the inside, 
Some horses it's on the outside, some horses it's in the middle. So choosing the right bit for the conformation of your horse's mouth can be a big factor in how well your horse, your individual horse responds. Um, and this is where, there we go. This is where, um, for us in the tradition I was raised in, um, you really should, you really fit that bit to that horse's mouth. It's gotta be the right bit. Um, and it's gotta fit.